Babala Pure Hero 2023. How does it play? Let's find out. What is going on guys and welcome to the video. Today we have the new Babala Pure Harrow 100 square inch. Uh, guys, I gotta say right off the bat, if you are a fan of the previous generation, you should definitely give this updated version a try. So for this uh, new Babala, it has a more arm friendly flex point. And Babala also added comfort with NF technology which basically guys is a flax insert in the handle and upper hoop to soften the ball impact. Babala also updated its FSI spin technology with a slightly tighter string spacing. I don't know if you guys can see it clearly on this picture, but on the newer model compared to the old one, the squares are a little bit tighter on the newer one. It also has a low swing weight of around 322. So basically you get easier maneuverability um, with pinpoint accuracy without the fear of overheating from the baseline. It definitely feels um, more able of a forgiving and control racket, even though it's not necessarily a control racket at base it still has is pure aero identity at the core. So you do need to generate some spin, but it's still a powerful racket. It's just that it has more control than its previous predecessor. So like I said before, it still feels um, softer and more dampened at impact with no vibration. Um, and for some reason, it holds tension better. Uh, I know that a tight string pattern usually does that in my opinion, but it's definitely something that I noticed. It is still a stiff racket, like mid 60s, like around 65. Um, so if you have any arm issue, you can still give it a try, obviously, uh, but just try to make sure that you have the actual right string just to limit the possible damage to your elbow. Uh, a string that I would recommend that really fits well with this racket would be the RPM soft. In my opinion, it would be a great option. For this play test, I strung it with RPM Blast, which is a highly rated string from Babola at 53 pounds. Even though the string pattern is actually denser, um, this racket was not conceived for flat hitters, but you can still generate flat shot if you desire to. At the net, uh, this racket felt special. I really appreciate the speedy response of this racket. Like I said previously, it's very maneuverable. Uh, I truly feel that it combines touch and power. Also, the balance of this racket allowed me to react quickly uh, when receiving a heavy shot. While testing this racket, I also noticed that the previous generation offered a little bit more of easy power and a higher launch angle, in my opinion. Um, but for sure, with this uh, updated version and the uh, denser string pattern, uh, you're gonna find that overall you get more control, which is what I personally prefer. On serve, I found that I had better direction when serving. I also enjoyed the previous model on serve, but I feel that I could hit my target a little bit more easier with better precision, especially on second serve, uh, like a kick serve and a slice serve with this updated version. If I had to compare it to other rackets that plays similarly, I would say the Head Extreme Mid Plus and the Dunlop SX300. So if you are a player who likes to hit big from the baseline, you will truly enjoy this frame. The power combined with surgical targeting 
is really a great improvement from Babola. So there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If it did, feel free to give me a like. It helps the channel to grow. If you got any question or comment, make sure to leave them in the comment section. If this racket and all the gear that I've used in this video seem interesting to you, there will be links down below. Till next time, and remember guys, you got this.